Christine McDaniel here with the Health and Happiness Hacks Wellness Show. Every single Wednesday, coming to you with some wellness here at Eco Chateau Sorrento Valley, filming on location. We have Joe back, so this is our Hello. first time. We yeah. have a guest back that's been on before, so you can always look back and check his um, earlier episode out for all the uh, kind of the getting to know Joe part. <laughs> now we're launching to just one topic. Oh man. Yeah, an interesting <laughs> topic, so it can be a little, um, I'm kind of excited. Me too, because I haven't really told many people this. So oh my gosh, it's, I'm- It's even better actually. Yay, <laughs> no, we were at a conference a while back and we were chatting and I was like, oh my gosh, we should totally talk about that on my wellness show. Yeah. Um, I know people, it's gonna pique some interest. Totally. Some people are gonna be like, what the heck? <laughs> So yeah, I know, right? So I won't tease it out anymore. I'll go ahead and have uh, Joe kind of talk about the topic oh, yeah. and his re research and stuff he's done with it. Yeah, <laughs> which isn't a lot beforehand. It came afterwards, which was ironic. But Ooh, um, okay. yeah, so uh, previous episode, you probably heard, like I'm a big fan of any kind of hacks, mind hacks or, or just, you know, body hacks, things that make you... Uh, Make life a little easier. Really, that's all I'm after, you know, for myself. And then I could teach you know, people like you, everybody here, and it's it's super fun because it's always like a fun conversation. But yeah. So yeah. So an opportunity. I've I've I'm sure you've heard of obviously psychedelics and things that you can kind of tap into your brain on like a deeper level, and tap into something specifically called DMT, which. I'm horrible at the acronym, so um, it's di something something something. Basically, you could Google it. Yeah, <laughs> DMT. It's basically a chemical in your brain, and that's how your dreams come about. So that's that's what kind of creates these visions at night, you know, while you're sleeping, and that's why they could be a little funky sometimes and not totally connect to everything, you know. So it's yeah, and then you forget them very quickly, so you should kind of log them. Um, so I was uh, had an opportunity to basically explore that a little deeper locally in San Diego, which doesn't happen often, but um, so uh, ayahuasca is what it was that we did, and which is basically a, it's an ancient tea that's mixed from a root and a leaf. And it's from the Amazon area, the region down there. So you'll see a lot of people, uh, like it, it became, I'm not gonna say it's popular. So, so the whole thing of an ayahuasca ceremony or an aya ceremony, um, it's a funky spelling for ayahuasca, so good luck Googling that. <laughs> we'll put it in the, <laughs> notes. In the show notes. Yeah, yeah. Show notes. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason why I was interested in this is that it basically, I mean, it's a psychedelic. So the whole point was in, uh, for the ancient, you know, people in Peru and whatnot, in the Amazon, it was a sacred way to kind of connect to this Aya goddess. So it's all very religious for them. It's, it's a way to connect at this, you know, to this like spiritual being that is everywhere and inside of you and you know and, and that's where these visions so when it's it's a psychedelic so you know when you take it and there's a whole process we can get into but the whole end result is to kind of figure out what might be blocking you in life and it's it's a way to learn about yourself and then figure out kind of what's stopping you in life so like what's what's the thing holding you back and how can you get through it so actually it's like constructive it's not just like ah this crappy things happen in your life sucks for you yeah. <laughs> like no it's like it says, oh, no, like, well, and this isn't guaranteed. I, and obviously, don't do this at home. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. Yeah. Every time we have Joe on, we need all these disclaimers. I have a, I have a reputation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, but the whole thing was, I, you know, I knew that there was a tool out there because I saw it as a tool. It's not a recreational drug. It's not anything like that. And it's nothing that's addicting or blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean. I guess getting addicted to seeing what's in your brain can happen, but there's other ways to do that on a consistent basis, like meditation. But so yeah, so an opportunity came up where you do the ceremony. So it's called an ayahuasca or an aya ceremony or a tea ceremony because it's still kind of this thing that's not super public and it's technically not legal in the U.S. But if it's under like a, a religious umbrella, I guess. It's That's neat. how they're getting around it? Exactly. And it, was it a donation? Right. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> so, have you done this? No, <laughs> I haven't. But I've heard about them. That's why I'm right. so glad to have you on and get more details because yeah. I keep hearing about it. Yeah. So, it's, so you, you basically, you know, you're part of a, a quote unquote church, but it's not. not yeah. So it's, <laughs> but it's for the ceremony for that evening. So it usually starts in, in you know, ceremony starts around 7, 8 o'clock. So it's dark by then. We did it back in November last year. So it was dark, you know, around that time. And um, 
and it's really cool. So like the way we did it, we had a big old house and about 10 people or so. So it's, it's good to not have too big of a group. That was a little larger than I heard is really good, but like people go to Peru and go for weeks and have the ceremony for literally like five, six, seven times in a row. And the whole thing behind it is that the more you do it, it's kind of like it opens another layer and like in your mind. So you might learn one thing like, oh, why am I frustrated with my dad? And like, I can't remember any issue with him, you know, but like there's a possibility if you make that an intention. So that's kind of a big thing is go in with uh, with kind of something you want to get out of it. Don't just go in blind and, and um, you know, just be like, oh, let's see what's in my head today. Yeah, but like go in and like, oh, I'd really like to figure out like, yeah, I get a little frustrated when this happens, you know. Or like, you know, with money, you might get frustrated or just why are you stressed at work all the time and maybe you really like work and maybe you're like, I'm always stressed, <laughs> what the heck? So those are all things you can kind of use this tool as a way to break through that. And you go in with that intention? Yeah, Okay. beforehand. So Before was, you drink the tea? Yes, yes. Okay. so it's um, where we did it, and I, I can only speak for myself, you know, but they educate you thoroughly. I mean, for us, it was like an hour, almost two of education wow. about okay. the plant. You got to hold it, feel it like this, it's literally a 20 year old root that they passed around that looks really cool. It looks like a rope, like a thick rope, you know, and oh. that's like literally the root. And what they do is they boil it or something like that together. So it's literally like a nectar when you get it. And it's like a, it's almost like a, it was like a mixture of espresso tasting, I would say, with kind of a little bit of spice, but not really spice. It's, it's, it's weird to explain, um, but it's kind of like that, but it's very thick. So it's like a nectar, you know? So, um, but you basically just kind of drink it quick. But the whole thing is that, uh, it's a very sacred thing. So you don't just do it to willy nilly do it. So the whole thing is there's a lot of intention. There's a lot of meditation that happens. People are helping you. I mean, you have people that are kind of guiding you through the thing. Um, but like I said, the benefits at the end are to really break through. So you're keeping your focus there makes it a lot calmer because going into it, I was definitely very nervous. Oh, I, <laughs> I was bet. Like, heart was like racing. I was like, crap, who are these weirdos? Did your wife, <laughs> did your wife Heather do it with you? She did didn't, she? but she wants to. Yeah. <laughs> and so you went by yourself, uh, a buddy of mine. So actually the CrossFit gym owner, Okay, so he he's a little different too. So, um, and also, uh, some other folks. So it was, it was, uh, it was cool. You know, it was a lot of actually, it was interesting. There's a lot of wellness people, a lot of gym owners and, and folks like that, that, uh, that were just down to kind of explore more. So yeah. you'll see. How from, soon did it hit? You think after you drank it? So yeah, you take the drink and you basically tell them how much you want to drink. So on like a, I think it's like a one to 10 scale. And basically it's just the volume of the cup. And it's just like a little, it's like a paper, you know, like those little water cups that you get at like the dentist or something. Um, so I think I requested a, uh, or asked for a seven. So it was pretty high and I've never done a psychedelic before this. I was like, well, let's just go for it. Wow. <laughs> never like, a psychedelic. You've no, never no, oh my no. gosh. And I then know. you did a seven out I of 10. A seven out of 10. And I was like, well, I mean, and you get three different, uh, I forget what they get, but basically you have three times to get more of a dose dosage. And I took two overall. Cause after two, I was like, I think I've had enough. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm good. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I was going to say something, but either way. Yeah. So we took that and you basically you take that and about 15 minutes later, it gets into the system. And then that's when you kind of really have to start breathing. So last episode, I talked about a breathing technique. Definitely go watch that because that's what I used to get through this. And the reason you breathe is that your, your body kind of naturally wants to throw it up. So you get nauseous. You get, oh my God. Yeah. I mean, that's the common, that's, it's everyone. Oh, I have heard that. Yeah. yeah. But it's literally medicine. So you take this and it's, the point is it's, you know, it's a medicine. You don't treat it as like a, like a beer or something or that you are a shot of whatever. Um, it's medicine that's actually treating you. So you got to keep it down. Like, you know, kids want to toss up their cough medicine. No, keep it down. You know? Yeah. So that's the whole point with this. And after about 30 minutes or so, you have the option to throw it up and they give you buckets. Like <laughs> it's, it's pretty amazing. Like, I mean, they have, it's, it's very safe. Like if you, if you go to the right place, it's going to be safe. So make sure, make sure you do your homework if you go that route. For sure. Because in Peru, they're t turning it into like a touristy thing totally. I've learned and they, yeah. where there's just some randos like putting Scary. it together, sketchy, sketchy. They don't know what they're doing. They're yeah. not able to facilitate 
facilitate it. If somebody gets really sick or something bad happens, yeah, exactly. They're just they're just now it's kind of a profit center for them down there. That's, um, yeah, so beware of that. Yeah. Yes, so that's interesting. That's nice that locally. So you probably can't say what. Probably can't say the place. No. no. <laughs> okay. Do your <laughs> research and ask around and talk to somebody that's, that's already. The thing. Yeah, yeah. Like and literally, I found it through a friend and it's trusted friends. Um, and I was able to then do some further research after I knew who was doing it, you know, kind of administering all this. Yeah. Um, so definitely I didn't go in with like not knowing anyone. Definitely had some people around me that I trusted and, and they make it very comfortable, at least the place I went. So cool. it was cool. Yeah. And so about, it was interesting, but the process, it goes like in waves, at least it did for me. It's different for everyone. So a couple of the guys I went with didn't really, like one guy didn't really feel anything. Wow. Um, whereas like another guy was kind of like middle of the road, but I was like in the zone, like, <laughs> cause we did it on a couch. So we were sitting like this and, and I'm really good at meditating, breathing through thoughts and, and stuff or, or even stomach pain, you know, like, which I had to do really, really, I was just like. Like I just try to loosen every little thing in my body and get to a meditative state because that's when these visions and that's where a psychedelic effect could happen. Things didn't, it was more in my brain. It wasn't uh, like a like a psychedelic you would see like on like the movies or something where you know, like flashy lights and all that stuff. Like I didn't experience that. Um, I experienced a lot of things in my brain, stuff that's like previous lives. Like I had a connection have to do with uh, having to do with my wife like being in my previous life I'm like oh wow like as a guide so I was like huh so that was something like I, I literally journaled like eight pages of stuff oh right after right after oh, just so good. Wanna, like, forget all this stuff um I got a bigger connection to nature that's why like I'm looking out Christine's window here and it's like a beautiful canyon there's trees everywhere and that's why I'm currently moving out of the condo I'm in because it's downtown. It's just cement everywhere. I'm like, I'm not connected to anything here. <laughs> I gotta get out to the nature. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the thing with this is that you get very connected to people. So you become more open, accepting of others, even if they're a little kind of pain in the ass. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but you, it opens you up and that's the whole thing. So not only are you kind of working through your own stuff, you feel more connected to everything, like even like, I had a big pull to animals. It was interesting. Like I was getting flashes of like my dogs or monkeys, like <laughs> whale, horse drinking out of a pond. I remember that. I don't know what this means. <laughs> journal, journal it. I did. I mean, it's gotta, and that's the thing is people do this consecutively and then they kind of take an image from one session and then they have like, okay, so what did that mean? And then that's why people do it pretty often. Um, or at least like, you know, in a week's time or something. Um, What's pretty often mean? Like these uh, people are going multiple th times? There were some people in there that have done it. Like, uh, I mean, I think the guy that administered has done it 2,000 times, but he's done it over like 30, 40 years or wow. something. Wow. But uh, and then you have folks that do it like a handful of times. Like I know a couple of folks that went to Peru and did it about six times within about two weeks or so. Wow. So, I mean, but it's, that's, that's like a retreat. You know, that's why they were going down there. Yeah. So. And who is the person that took a root and took a leaf and boiled it together and drank it to, to begin with in the first place? <laughs> oh, that I don't know. Oh, that I was, mean, literally, it's like, that's who would think, I would think of that years, stuff. Oh, been, I'm sure. It's back in, in back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this isn't anything new. There's nothing um, like foreign in there. It's all natural stuff. Um, then why is it illegal technically I, if it's a root and a leaf? I mean, it's just like mushrooms, you know, it's, those aren't, you know, and that's literally you can go to Washington and pick them off the ground. And I think it's the fact that it's getting your head in a different space that, that people aren't normally in walking around, you know, you're not going to typically be digging into your thoughts, sitting in a corner or something like that. You're yeah, like, that guy's weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, true that's true no actually he might be really just meditating and thinking of like the next big thing or something yeah you know? um there's a lot of entrepreneurs like steve jobs uh tim ferris that these guys will do something like mushrooms once per year and they call it like their hard reset so it's basically it's a way to squash any any i wouldn't say any bad thoughts but like small thoughts so like a, a big thing that popped up to me was squash my ego. And that's a big, I read that was actually something very common with doing ayahuasca is, um, I have a quote in my journal, it was like, stop being human, like so human. So like caring what others think about you, 
your outward appearance. The whole thing is get out of this thing that like looking good and focus on what's inside of you and then create something awesome from that. So start within you. And that's where this whole experience, that's what hooked me. I was like, oh crap, I need this. Like, that's this is cool. cool. So not saying everything around me was like, meh, but, but yeah. it was, but I'm big into, I mean, we're, we're so powerful as humans. Why not tap into that power and then pull it out like the little, maybe it's just one thing that you can give to the world. No, I love that. And yeah. I love that you talk about ego because I feel like our egos do get in the way of certain totally. things. Like I catch myself doing, I'm like, is that my ego that wants to do that? Yeah. Or is that me and my heart and what I really want to do? Or is yeah. that just my ego talking? So you check yourself. And that's uh. where literally I was like, that was probably the biggest thing I got from this experience. Um, and then just to sum up the experience before going too long here, but so that was about, like, it lasts for about three hours, four, oh my gosh. four hours, <laughs> like in, ten, like that's how I was feeling. I mean, you literally go in waves where it's like, sometimes you're like nauseous and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, I need to do this up in the end. Other times it's just euphoric where, and you can kind of control it, which is interesting. And you wouldn't think that with something like this caliber of a psychedelic. Literally, this is on like top of the rung. And I didn't know this going into it. I, I thought like, you know, you have mushrooms and I think peyote, like it's all kind of like middle of the road to lower and then you have ayahuasca. Oh, and literally wow. I jump. <laughs> but DMT, where does DMT sit on that? That's you, pretty high up. Okay, because you could take that too by yeah, itself. Yeah, straight or something, yeah. I don't know much about it, but um, yeah. So definitely that was pretty, high, but that's a, um, uh, yeah, so it lasts for a while. So it was ups and downs, but this whole thing where you can control it is literally with this meditative breath, like just think about if you meditate, it takes a while to get those thoughts out of your head. You know, you have to breathe through them, watch them pass, like that whole thing. With this, literally you kind of like, okay, I'm choosing to meditate now. And it's like, boom, you're in the meditation. Like it's like you, but then if you wanted to like say move or look around the room, you could, and then your head kind of snaps out of it, which is like the craziest thing that you can control. I mean, your body's pretty powerful. Yes, yeah, it is. Um, so that was great. And then, so the big lesson, another big lesson I got out of this thing, it's different for everyone, is like towards the end of the night, and literally this is like three in the morning, because I mean, you're not, it'd be the most expensive nap, I would say, if, because you pay, you pay a couple or a few hundred bucks or so, and it's, I don't know what the costs are everywhere else, but that's to Oh, that's not that bad. No. Oh, I was thinking in my head it would be more than that. No, I mean, if you did like a whole week. Donation. Yeah. Remember, donation. Donation. <laughs> So, um, but the whole thing is it goes late in the evening. So literally you're up till like five in the morning or so. It's still dark, but um, so we eat because you have to fast before this so you can get the full effect in your stomach. So oh. literally you're fasting for like 12 hours before this, just drinking water. And everyone's eating and I was just starving. So I was like slamming food down, you know, I was feeling great. This is about four, four hours, five hours after we started. And I was feeling great, feeling great, and then just like, and then it hit me. I was just like, mm. oh, oh no. God. And then my head started spinning <laughs> like crazy. And I think I remember someone calling my name and I just jolted over like really fast, but faster than that because I don't want to do it. Um, and then immediately my head just felt like this and it didn't oh, stop. I was no. like, oh God, oh God, what's happening? And immediately, it's, it's like, it felt like if you're just really drunk pretty much. Yeah. Um, that kind of feeling. So I took myself outside and kind of, I had to do a lot of breathing and that's where it was interesting where immediately my lesson was like stop reacting so fast to things like think of like take a second and then breathe and they're like yes what would you like <laughs> you know um so so that was the lesson you got out of it that was oh like a gosh. major lesson like stop because I'm, I'm one to you know it's like if you hurt yourself usually that's an indication that you uh, you're probably approaching things a little too fast and not thinking about what you're doing so that was like that mindfulness where I was like, oh crap, slow down, slow down, take a breath. Um, so the evening ended kind of not on the best route um, just because it, it actually went kind of downhill. I tried to go to sleep, but it's like your head still going kind of with the spins. But, um, but overall it ended, I was able to fall asleep after probably another hour or so of kind of breathing deep and all that. But the whole experience as a whole, it was kind of a bummer it ended on that that's not the case for everyone. Some like a lot of most everyone else just went to sleep immediately. And then do you sleep there, or did somebody yeah. have to drive you home? Oh, Ooh. okay. Uh, yeah, definitely don't drive when you're. No, 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 no. Like no. Oh, so they have a drunk. facility where you could sleep there. Okay. Yeah, so it was a house that we basically it was rented out and it was very you know secured. Everyone gave up their keys, so they're not going to drive off in the middle of the night. Okay. Um, 
But yeah, so we actually ended up camping in the backyard, which was <laughs> probably not the best of ideas because we we're like, ah, because it was like out in the woods. It looked great outside, and and I was like sleeping on a rock all night. Oh <laughs> my god, freezing cold. I'm like, maybe I should have stayed inside. <laughs> I know, right? But overall, but, great experience. Your for the people you went with, they... it was amazing. Okay. It was and and it was cool because the next day, a you don't have any lasting. I mean, your lasting effects are that you still feel really connected with everything. You actually do remember, it's not like a dream where you just snap out of it. You do remember pretty much everything, you know, um, and you feel great. It's not, you don't have this like weird grogginess. Like you're like literally we slept for like four hours and we're like, all right, let's go run a marathon. Nice. <laughs> like, so you feel great. Yeah. Um, and then, and what's really cool is that you go around the circle and kind of tell your experiences. So what everyone got out of it, what their intentions were and kind of what they drew from this whole thing. So, and that was... That was cool because then you see, you start noticing, like, oh my god, all right, cool. Like we're all dealing That's with the same cool. kind of issues, like that ego thing. That was the probably biggie. the most common. Yeah, was it all girl. guys? No. no okay, guys and girls there. Yeah. And then now that was November, so mm -hmm. now you know, fast forward a few months. Um, what are some lasting effects? So the last thing, I, I, honestly, being more open, and the big thing is getting out of my head. Because I was, I was really, I was slow. As we were being an entrepreneur, you have to kind of think fast and, and act fast. I would overthink stuff all the time. So the big thing was I was able to kind of overcome that almost immediately. And obviously, there's certain things like where do you want to go eat? And that's still like, <laughs> it's like ah, I don't know. Yeah. Mexican food. I want that every night. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> but, just um, but yeah, no, it's just it's faster thinking. And then the ego thing, honestly, is the biggest takeaway. Is like. Get out of your head, just go do something, do the best you can, but also take time to really figure out your, your plan, you know? Don't take all day doing it, but it's like take a moment, and then take a breath, or three, and then act, you know? So nice. It's, yeah, it's super cool. Awesome. But there's a lot of like documentaries, I think there's one called Ayahuasca. That's the name uh, of the documentary? I believe so, okay. yeah. They were like the first ones to get it. <laughs> nice. But I think on YouTube, there's a lot of free ones out there, or Netflix. Cool. So just yeah. do your research. But again, there's a lot of, you know, what's funny was I, I've had therapists that work here that have talked about it. I've had um, clients asking yeah. or talking about it. So it's definitely something that, you know, especially in this, in the wellness community, like mm -hmm. it comes up. Oh yeah. So I'm just like, Starting well, I don't know more. anything about it. So let me bring somebody. And when you'd said that, I'm like, oh, finally, yeah. I found an expert. <laughs> uh, not an expert, but somebody that's at least done it once, totally. right? Yeah. But yeah, that I can, definitely want to do it again. That's yeah. willing to speak about it because that's the other thing. Some people are like, no, 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 I don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. um, but no, that's awesome. So yeah. thanks for sharing the experience. Definitely. I'm sure the yeah. people can uh, watch or do listen. Some to research, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Cool. There you have it. it. Well, thanks for joining us today. <laughs> Bye. Right.